Thank you very much for joining me again for today's breaking news for Amazon sellers, July 11th, 2019. And the first thing I want to talk about is breaking news when it comes to business verification issues. Business verification issues have been on fire for new sellers and for experienced sellers who are trying to open up additional accounts in advance of Q4. Now, what we're seeing that the usual cause of business verification problems are falling into three categories. You are submitting incomplete documents, you're submitting documents where the addresses don't match, and also documents that are illegible. Okay. If you are creating your first Amazon seller's account, get your documents in order first. Make sure everything matches, everything's in your name with the same address. And if you are an experienced seller opening up another account for Q4, do the same thing. Make sure everything matches, every address is the same, the names are identical, and then submit. If you have this problem and you need to submit a second time, give us a call, we'll help you walk you through the process. Second breaking news for today, trademark complaints from Amazon with no complainant email address. Now, if you receive a trademark complaint and there's no email address, of the company or person that made the complaint against you, it's coming from Amazon. You can identify who owns the trademark at the USPTO.gov website. You can treat it like an inauthentic and send in really killer invoices where you got the product from, and that's how you can beat these suspensions and get the listing or your account back. Okay, third breaking news story of the day, Amazon is going back to old processes where you get one email address with a suspension of your account or a listing. You address that issue, you address those ASINs, and in response, they give you a whole nother problem with different ASINs. What is old is new again. Don't stress. You send in a supplemental plan of action. You call us for help, and we can help you get your listings or your account back. Next news story of the day, ungating services causing suspensions. Okay, Now, there are a lot of great companies out there that will help you get into product categories, but if you're trying to sell brands that are protected, I want you to think twice before you use any company at all. Certain companies just have deals in place with Amazon and I don't want to see any more suspensions because you used a company who promised that you can sell a protected brand. If you're not sure which brands have protections, you can Google it, you can call us for help, you can search our website, AmazonSellersLawyer.com, where we are the number one largest depository of free information for Amazon sellers anywhere on earth. Okay, last but not least, seller's rights. Seller's rights. I will be talking about seller's rights. My partner Anthony will be talking about seller's rights, developing your private label brand, developing your intellectual property right issues, developing your intellectual property. At Midwest Ecom, July 19th and 20th, AS, ASD, IRC, IMA, and Tim Jordan's Hickory Flats in Las Vegas on July 28th to July 31st, July 28th to July 31st. And if you have your own private label, you must source outside of China. So check out Sourcing from India, Amazon FBA private label. It is a killer brand new Facebook group. Please check it out because you must diversify where you're getting your products from. And thank you very much for joining me again for Amazon Sellers News.